All right, we are back reviewing the all new 2024 Bronco Big Ben Edition. Now this is the base model for the Bronco lineup, but there's nothing basic about it. If you haven't already done so, take a minute to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more of our videos here on the Auto Insider. Now I know I said the Big Ben is the base model and it is for 2024. That's one of the updates. This is as low as you can go. And just talking about these vinyl seats, yeah, they're not giving me anything that's luxury, but this is an off-road vehicle. So we're not talking about luxury. And then there's nothing basic about the fact that you can take these hard panels off and put them in the storage compartment and you can ride around and get all the sun and wind and light that your heart desires. So for that, I'll say this base model, it ain't so basic. Now let's talk about this sync system in Ford. All the Fords and Lincolns have the same infotainment system. They run off the same software. And we ran into a couple of little glitches in the Lincoln we drove recently, but so far in this Bronco, none of that. As you can tell, this touch screen is very responsive. You get us to all of our apps we're looking for here. We get in here, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and other apps that you want to download. You can also navigate through the screen here. Gives us what's going on on the sides. And then we can also change what we want to display. If you're going off road, we can check things like pitch. We can change, see where our wheels are, roll, things of that nature. Works like a charm. Now when we come over here to the steering wheel, all of our controls are right here where we'd expect them. Body controls, safety features like lane keep assist, answer your phone calls, and you control your radio stations all from the steering wheel. Over here you have your rain sensing windshield wipers as well as your auto dimming headlights. It's still an SUV, and some people will use this as a daily driver. Now, while with this big wheel and tire package, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for a daily driver, but for those of you who just love adventure and off-road, so be it. It's as good as a Wrangler or a Forerunner for your daily drive. And speaking of off-roading, these vinyl seats really come in handy when you're out getting dirty, muddy, and wet. But when you get back and you gotta clean it all up, you spray the whole thing down, and lucky for you, the Bronco has a drain plug. So when you're finished, you can drain all that dirty water out to the ground. But now, for those of you who might use this as a daily driver, and maybe you got kids, it's gotta fit everybody. Let's go back here and check it out. Now, while your little ones might have a bit of a challenge climbing in here, like my wife, once you get back here, there's good leg room. You have switches for your windows right here, USB, fast charger as well as a standard charger and outlet to plug up things like maybe gaming equipment. Cup holders here, center seat if you gotta have an extra person. But these two side seats, they're not bad at all. And this frameless window is pretty cool. This top comes out and it has a bit of sound deadening in it, but that part doesn't work too well. So I hope your kids don't mind a lot of wind noise or maybe the wind noise will drown them out. So while we're on the subject of this possibly being a family vehicle, it's gotta have good cargo capacity and it has to be easy to access. Now, while this might be a really cool party trick, imagine this parallel park and a car behind you. A little bit difficult to get in and out of this cargo area. But now this swinging tailgate isn't all bad. As you can see, it folds out of your way. It allows you enough room to get anything you need in here without being impeded by the door. Also, if it doesn't fold down here, it allows me to gain better access to what's in the cargo area. As you can see, we have one of the roof components back here. It's out of the way and it's safe and neat. Now this back piece comes off, a lot of unplugging of these switches here to get it off. But once it's off, you have these really cool color-coded roll bars. I can imagine this challenging any Wrangler on the road for aesthetic appeal. And staying with this family daily driver theme, you got a 640 folded second row. So if you gotta go to the big box stores, you can make room for odd shaped items. So it checks the list off as a traditional SUV, even though you may not get the best ride quality. Now I mentioned keeping it on the road. Ours comes with the optional Sasquatch package, which comes with these 17 inch black and alloy wheels. And while this wheel entire package is great off road, on road, it makes it a little bit wobbly all over the place, kind of like an old 70s Cadillac or something. But as you come down the side, you can see it does give it a really aggressive off-road stance, and it looks like a vehicle that actually should perform well. And if you've watched any other Auto Insider videos, you know we're not real off-roaders here on this channel. However, we never miss a chance to make it over to our neighborhood rock pit when we get an off-road 
vehicle. First of all, check out those 35 inch Goodyear mud terrain tires mounted to that 17 inch B lock capable wheel. Now they're B lock capable because Ford can't legally sell B lock wheels, but you can order that as an additional option. These tires were built to conquer the toughest terrains, ensuring you can go further no matter where your trail may lead. Now it's also equipped with Dana front and rear electronic locking axles with a 4.7 to one final drive ratio. It delivered unmatched traction and control. And so far it's the king of this rock pit. Now the high clearance suspension, nearly two inch wider track and wider fender flares enhance stability and provide an aggressive off-road stance. With this Haas 2.0 suspension system featuring these Bilstein position sensitive dampers, you'll experience shock absorption and a smoother ride even on the roughest path. Sometimes it'll feel like you're riding in a boat, but when you're off-road, you'll really appreciate the range of these shocks. The independent front suspension offers dynamic handling in hazardous terrains, while the rugged undercarriage is built to withstand damage from off-road obstacles. And with the maximum ground clearance of 11.5 inches for the four-door model, you can confidently navigate over rocks, logs, and more. So, needless to say, this was the best part of our week in this Big Ben Bronco. We've attempted this incline in the Forerunner and the Jeep Wrangler to no avail. But this Bronco pulled it off. While this may not be the biggest incline and it may not be the most impressive off-road display you've ever seen of an SUV, this is the most fun that we've had in this rock pit in a really long time. This Bronco wow. felt poised and ready for anything that we could throw at it. And while my wife over there wasn't so happy about it, I could have done this all day long. And look how good it looks running through that rock pit. Well, that's all the time we have today on the Auto Insider. But if you haven't already done so, click that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any more of our reviews here on the Auto Insider. This 2024 Bronco Big Ben Edition. Yeah, it's a base model, but is it hot or is it not? If you're planning on taking it off road and you're going to take it and beat it up on those trails, this thing is hot. If you're looking at it as an everyday daily driver for you and the family, and it's lukewarm. But I tell you what, I got another 24 hours in this truck. We're going back to my rock pit where this thing really shines. I don't know why you may be considering a Bronco, but if your weeks are like mine, there's nothing like blowing off a little steam when you get done. And if you're not a golfer or a fisher, trust me, this right here will really get the adrenaline pumping and let you get out all of that built up aggression that you had for the entire week. I felt like a kid driving around in this Bronco. So it may not be your first choice as a family vehicle, but it sure is a good way to burn off a little bit of steam on the weekend. I'll see y'all back here next week. Same place, same time. I'm Daryl Killian for the Auto Insider. Have a good weekend.